music's biggest stars are in Las Vegas celebrating the Billboard Music Awards. At the ceremony just a few hours ago, it was all about the performances as yes, usual. Yes, it was. Music and media consultant Bruno Del Granado joining us now with the highlights. Good morning, Bruno. What did you take away from this year's awards? That uh, the 70s and disco are back in full swing. Uh, Bruno Mars had the opening performance and he paid homage to the soul acts of the 70s uh, with a killer song called Treasure. Uh, Chris Brown, uh, bad boy Chris Brown channeling the king of pop with uh, a song called uh, Pure China. But he basically channeled uh, Smooth Criminal. And uh, Pitbull and Christina Aguilera, uh, a song called Feel This Moment, samples Aha's Take On Me. Uh, and at the end, the guest performance uh, included an appearance by the original lead singer of that band. So uh, very much on the 80s tip tonight. He even hit the high note. Did you notice that? He can still get up there. Yes, you did. He can. Absolutely <laughs> right about that. that. Take on me. Wow, he went all the way up there. Yeah, he was crazy. Very was great. nice. Now, Everybody is talking about this one performance, the performance by Prince. Even our viewers, we asked on Facebook their favorite performance, and that was the one everybody's talking about. He was one of the many performers that got a special award. Yes, Prince received the Icon Award, which uh, is certainly an understatement for Prince, you know, one of the most accomplished singer-songwriters of, of all time. Uh, he had the task of performing at the end of the show for 10 minutes, solid 10 minutes, he was channeling himself from the 80s and channeling Jimi Hendrix as well, one of his heroes. Uh, a killer version of Let's Go Crazy, and overall it was a performance of the night, hands down. Yeah, he was something, he just moves so great too. He really God, does, he even in his old cool. age, can we say that? So, no, he looked like the coolest guy out there. <laughs> he really does. Uh, let's talk about the night's biggest winner in your opinion, Bruno. Well, the biggest winner uh, was Taylor Swift, as usual, was nominated for 11 awards and won eight out of those 11. It was certainly her night again. But it, then again, every time Taylor Swift is nominated for something, she always walks away with a handful. Uh, and it's, it's, it's due in part to the very successful record she has uh, that sold over 4 million copies to date. So she's definitely the biggest winner of the night by far by because of awards. So now, Bruno, is it any surprise? I know you're saying she walks away with a handful every time but a lot of people were nominated for a lot of awards, including Justin Bieber. He wasn't a big winner. Are you surprised that it was Taylor Swift that walked away with so many? I wasn't surprised that Taylor Swift walked away with so many because she, going in, she already had 11. So chances are she was going to walk away with at least 50 percent. Interesting thing about Justin I mean, Bieber, guys, not, he uh, accepted the Milestone I'm Award not, and he kind of had a little meltdown in there seriously. talking about all the haters and everything else. And uh, not it was not really well received with the audience, I think. Yeah, kind of yeah. the wrong place for that. That was an interesting one. I wasn't sure. I was going to ask you if it, if it was poignant or it was sort of awkward and it came across awkward. It certainly came across as awkward, and I think the audience also uh, let him know that because there's a lot of uh, boos and hisses there as well. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, Bruno Granado, always with lots of insight. Thank you for joining us this morning from Miami. All right, you're Thanks, watching, guys. Thanks, Bruno. You're watching World News Now.